Trademark before starting a business. Hmm. Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about legal, business, and intellectual property. What's intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright, and on intellectual property. In today's video, we want to talk about uh, trademark and should you register and trademark before starting a business? My answer is no. Really, no. Don't do that. A lot of people are advising you to do that, but I advise you not to do that. Why is that? I'm going to show you why. Because the thing is, if you start a business, there are a lot of things that you need to consider. If you have experience, you know what to do. But if you're doing a project and it's really big, you can do that. But if you're starting out as a startup, don't waste your time. Focus on getting your clients. Focus on growing your uh, company. The reason I'm saying that is the following. Um, sometimes when people, I'm going to give you an example, when they have a startup, they invest a lot of money in the intellectual property, like register, trademark, pay a lot of money for it. But after six months, it fails. Where's the money? Gone. You should have put the money in something else. You should have put the money in, um, in acquiring clients. You understand what I mean? And the thing is, I'm not saying you, but I'm saying the person that's run the startup. And a lot of people do that. And the reason why I'm saying this is that if you're really serious about your business, think about it. You start the first six months, see how it goes, see how you can attract client. And after that, you will register your trademark. Let's say after six months, then register. You can even do um, a speed process. A lot of um, IP offices have that. I don't understand why people are worrying about that. Yes, if you do it early, you are the first one to come. But the problem is, it's all about your clients. Don't get me wrong. You can get this right. But if you don't get the client, you don't get money to run your business. You understand what I mean? And you may, well, you may say, okay, if I do not have a trademark, people will not recognize me. The thing is, you're selling a product or service. If you have lawyer clients, they will come to you. If you don't have lawyer clients, then you need to consider But the thing is, try to innovate. If you innovate, you will get lawyer clients. Lawyer clients. So, what I'm saying is, after six months, then register. When you register it after six months, it's going to be okay for you. That I know for sure. But um, let's consider a couple of things before, um, yeah, before I explain this to you how it works. Um, when you start a business, doesn't mean a lot of people are in the in the front line to buy your services or what yeah. you need to get some clients especially as startups and sometimes you have a budget and IP um, IP protection is not in your budget and if there are some know-hows in your company that you want to protect give them a secret and trademark is not one of them because you need to show your clients your trademark your name make sure you have the domain and make sure you have the necessary things in your region or in your country and then you're good to go. As soon as someone uses your name for the same product or services, you can sue them based on um, not trademark but other intellectual property. So a lot of company um, country has that. I'm not saying every country has that, but you have certain kind of protection. Doesn't mean full protection, but you can use that in six months because nobody knows what's going to happen in six months. And after six months, you can do a speed process. You can register really fast, bam, and you can also prove to the IP office that you already have a certain kind of client list, so you can get extra, extra strong trademark. But if you register at the day one or before you start, not going to work. Not going to work. You don't need this waste of money. If you have a lot of budget, do that. But otherwise, don't. I advise people not to do that. Because they can focus better on acquiring clients and yeah and other things. But after a while, when you know, okay, it's starting to blow off, then you may say, okay, there are some um, there are some startups will start to blow up after three years, and you cannot wait for three years. I can understand that, but after six months, you can put it in. You can register a trademark, not day one. Do not do it before. Waste of your time. Focus on what's important for your company. If you really want your company to grow, focus on what's important. That's my tip to you. So trademark before you start the company? No. 
if you come with me that problem i will tell you no and i will show you this video it's that simple if you really insist on register i will register but it's a waste of your money if you have deep pocket okay you register and the thing is trademark takes times to grow six months or uh, six months it doesn't really matter if it's one year or two years that's that's that matter but six months it's okay and during the six months period you can start because you can see hey i already have this kind of clients these kind of clients i find it in that country sometimes you see people oh i want trademark in that country in that country in that country but it doesn't mean your trademark is gonna work there you understand what i mean sometimes people ask me to um do some research i would think okay i will look at into it but uh, that doesn't mean, based on my research, it's going to work. You understand what I mean? Okay? Because you need to look out where are your clients and what do you need to protect and how do you communicate with your clients to trademark, to your trademark, to your brand. Your brand is important. What you do online is also important. But how you're going to um, protect it is also important. But trademark in the first day doesn't work you need to build things up and it takes time to build things up so um that's about it for trademark if you are new to this channel feel free to subscribe i'm not um, forcing you or anything the thing is i'm just giving you an update about trademark and only intellectual property if you have a subscriber and the thing is if you want to know more about these things you can join the discord on a discord you can find everything that you need and you can ask me questions that's about it for this video if you have questions about this topic or anything related to trademark, if you want advice, feel free to contact me and I will see you in the next video.